weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen. Shield Wall, which recently, I think 18th of April, so actually a couple of days ago, got a new patch from our master developer, and I'm so excited about that. We can see already starting that we get some new languages in the user interface, and also, I do believe that we might have gotten more campaign missions. Yes, we have the Battle of Tapsus, and also Battle of Munda, and the finale, Act 4 of the campaign. Super excited about this. And I think we should just play it. Play Battle of Tapsus. After Pompey's death, the remaining optimate, not ready to give up, regrouped in the African provinces. The leaders were Marcus Cato the Younger and Caecilius Metellus Scipio. Other key figures in the resistance were Titus Labi Labinus, Lucius Afri Afranius, and Lucius Pompeius, Pompey's son. After the pacification of the East Provinces and a short visit to Rome, Caesar followed his opponents to Africa. I wonder if we might have gotten a new... Might be Egyptians, or if we got a new faction as well. In the beginning of February 46 B, Caesar arrived at Thapsu. His fleet had already arrived and was blockading Thapsus from the sea. Outside of the city was a march, leaving only two landward approaches to the city. Caesar blocked the southern approach with the fortifications. This forced his opponents to either attack the fortifications or march round the march, march, march round the marsh, and advance at his army via the eastern approach. The optimates decided not to attack Caesar's southern fortifications but marched to the eastern approach. Scipio, Scipio ordered Afranius and a few soldiers to take up positions opposite the fortifications. The main army marched all the way to the eastern approach and started building a camp opposite Caesar's. This is gonna be a lot of fun, hopefully, unless it's just a whole bunch of catapults and stuff. Okay, let's open up the map first and foremost. Right, I think this might be the marshes, I guess. This is, of course, where we've landed, and I do believe I... Right, of course, I'm Rome Red 120 for each of these main bases. And I guess it would be the most fun to make sure that we wipe out um, the fortifications, or rather the uh, the forts. So if I can go for this one, it doesn't look like it has a... might just have a small opening, or it has a, a whole gate. None of them seems to have catapults, though. Damn, I love this new map. I'm so excited. And also, we have three flags in the middle, E, D, and C. You can't recruit from these, even if, unless they're the very last flags you hold. That's what the red star means. And they give 90 gold or points, um, as opposed to the 120 you get from the fortified positions, settlements, or the forts. Let's go! Of course, we're going to start with the basic one, start with the standard. We won't be able to get the main sign yet, but I do want to first of all get some defenders, then we get some militia, no catapults. I can't even begin to describe how happy I am that we don't have to face catapults. There also, there's also an opening to the back towards our boats, but I don't think we will have to use those. So I will start with going between um, the C and D. And eventually, I'll just push towards uh, the F fort when I have an army big enough. Man, I'm so excited. I love it. I love it that we get a new patch. So, so, so excited about that. Okay. So, it is Egypt, isn't it? Yeah, Egypt took that flag. And, and Pompey took uh, C. So, no one went for E, of course. They want to start me out as fast as, as, fast as possible. Now I want to see if any of them choose to go for my uh, fort. No, didn't. So first of all, run, take Pompey's flag, and then I'll run straight over and take the D flag. Rome, of course, is very good in the fact that we get uh, really good bonuses for our standard. A lot of gold per minute, and also decreases the cost, but also we can go movement speed, damage, and attack speed. We have a real balanced faction with uh, upgrades for our standard. 
which I'm very happy about. And it looks like they have one, two, three, four defenders. So it's not going to be easy to take down that fort for uh, Pompey's son. But now, I would like to run back and make sure that our standard gets experience by um, us killing their attackers. Actually, let's buy some more defenders, run in, and have you guard the wall right here. And then I'll run out and try to get some uh, get some good javelin throws in. Doesn't look like I'm hitting that well right now though. But it's just a whole bunch of experience for my standard and that's great. Oh, someone had dynamite in the javelin. Great. So far, our standard hasn't leveled up, unfortunately. But we do have enough money for a standard main sign. Now I'm thinking attack speed or gold per minute. I'm actually going to go with gold per minute. Because we will have to throw so many um, hits into the mix. There we go. That's one taken care of. We still have... The sea flag. And they are coming back to my base. So I guess we might as well just have our unit stand there. And just get more experience for our standard. Would be so nice if we could get our first um, point in. Because I don't think I want to put more um, points in the gold per minute just yet. Of course, we can absolutely obliterate our income, but something that we can't get as a team upgrade is damage. So I think I might want to go with that, at least one full stack. Then I got an accomplishment in Steam. That's another thing that came with um, the patch, that now we get Steam upgrades. They um, had more translations, more languages, they have an upgraded user interface, they fixed a whole bunch of bugs. Yeah, I'm super excited about this patch. And actually might soon be able to go for Egypt's base, to be honest. They, ha they do have defenders, though. And something that I need is more movement speed for my armies. If you look at the points, I'm just smack dab in the middle, almost being surpassed by Orange pretty soon. But of course, Pompey's son, uh, Pompeius or whatever his name was, uh, he will be the highest priority take down because he has the most points but four defenders is not easy to take down absolutely not now 300 what could be a good investment right now i wonder if my standard dies i really want this upgrade and if we're gonna start attacking the forts we need the gate crasher um 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 Maybe I start with the respawn time for the standard because something's telling me I might die pretty darn soon. Okay, everyone's just hugging up inside their forts. No one's going for the FE flag, interestingly enough. And I don't think necessarily that they go out... Okay, now they might actually start to attack each other. Because so far in this game, you haven't been able to set teams. So that, for example, it's two against one. But it's always... Um, it's always free for all. And I want my army... Stand right here. Okay, start pulling back. So close on um, another experience point though. Now we can pull back and we'll put one more point in damage. So now we are starting to get pretty good bonuses. And if we run back, I do believe that the defenders will help us with help us uh, with killing our tail. Okay, they actually turn back on themselves on their own. Now. What do I want? What do you want? More limits of units. Um, we have... We have a 40 minute game, so this will be a pretty long episode. And now... 
don't think I want to spend much more money on recruiting units. Because that's not going to be my main priority until I can get the Legionnaires, the Absolutes, off. The absolute best unit. Egypt, most likely, will start to... Okay. Now they came for this flag. Interesting. So, I could be sneaky. But I want to increase the movement speed. I need to increase my, increase my maneuverability. I'm doing alright point-wise. I'll actually let Egypt take uh, that flag. I will not be running for um, the blue base just yet. I would rather like for them to start attacking each other, to be honest. You're going back to base, which means that I can run and take the flag without you take getting too much money. And blue is helping to starve Egypt out financially. We're taking another flag. Get even more money now. And I think... Yeah, that was moronic. I blew the horn before we even captured our flag. But as long as we stand close to the flag, we'll have 40% increased income. So instead of 90, we get 126. And that is voice. That's very nice. As long as the standard stands close to it, I get a lot more money. Now, Gate Crasher, we need all of these upgrades, as well as the Legionnaires, of course. Um... But first I need the Spearmen. So first I will go for the Legionaries. And then finally the Gate Crasher. And then we can just start going ape shit on their bases. Okay. Who is running back? We can still stand here and just soak in the uh, extra Monet. Now I'm thinking. Egypt is running back home. I need... I need uh, to be able to upgrade... My movement speed. I need some battles so that I can upgrade the standard. But then, of course, if we were to... This can't be a march. March. This is just a very, very beautiful sowing field. Or... Planting field? Food field? Harvest field? A field of some sort. There we go. And now, if you run for this one, I will just run straight past you. And get this flag from blue. And very soon we will start um, to go for some confrontations. Because now we have le the legionnaires as well. So if I'm just able to take this flag. If I don't miss it. Egypt's running home. Blue's running for this one. Oh, to wait for the enemy. There we go. Then I'll run back to base. Uh, recruit as many legionnaires as I can, maybe soak in some more econ economy. We are in the lead currently, but I need to start uh, going for domination points as well. There we go, as soon as my standard is back, won't, uh, the recruitment won't be a lot cheaper, but at least we'll make more money from standard. Let's go, max out legionnaires. Then, if we stand close, look at blue numbers, 168, blow the horn, 216. So for 5 seconds, I make 80% income. That's great. And I think, running over there, I will be getting the gate crasher. I think I should be able to afford it as soon as I reach the gates. They run back. But first, let's run up to this flag, and maybe we should be able to, um, like, surpass either of the armies. Because I will not be going to for um, an assault on the forts while their army is in there. That would be absolute suicide. Gate Crasher, don't mind if I do. 20% increased damage to gates. Right, and this would be one of those amazing opportunities for me to get more experience for my standard. So, maybe it's the best choice. Or I could go for the gate. Let's go for the gate. Sometimes you just gotta go for it, you know?
There we go. Blow the horn to increase the damage. They are starting to come back. There we go. Now we need to run back home and we will lose a bunch of soldiers in the process. But that's okay because our goal was to damage the gate. And I think we damaged it quite a bit actually. So the next time Egypt runs out, we will be um, we will be ready for it. They're actually coming towards me now. So, I guess... First of all, kill their army. Get experience points for my standard. Or actually, just run around. Go for the gate again. 40. Okay. They want the confrontation. So we'll give, them, give it to them. And blowing the horn. Oh, damn. We made short work of those guys, didn't we? Now, while I'm fighting Egypt... Uh, Blue... Does a great job of um, taking the flags and taking point leads. But we really just need to keep going for the base and make sure we try to get it down... Oh, damn. They have, seem to have a lot of defenders, actually. Blow the horn. Come on. Break through the freaking gate. There we go. Run through. And hopefully... We'll be able to neutralize this flag. If their leader dies and comes back before it's down to uh, to neutral, then we are screwed. Okay, and we still have our B base and we still have five defenders there. So if I take this base now, get some defenders. I think think we might be all right. Egypt is all wiped out unless they are able to take that base. Blue is still within their own sight. Um, now that we have so few, so many defenders though, worth noting that we'll only have room for 15 units in our army. So we won't be able to just throw units at the gates like we did previously. But now we'll take this flag, run back, and defend our base from Egypt, and they will be wiped out. And we have 200 gold, so I will get the um, gate repair upgrade so that uh, it's upgraded a lot quicker, or, or it's um, it's repaired a lot quicker because that gate is busted down. Whoa! Ah! Defenders, please help us. Oh, damn. Have they broken through my gate already? Okay. Or attack, maybe. Health per second and movement speed might be a good idea. Let's go for one full stack of that. And then uh, everything else is just going to go straight into the damage section. Replenish our troops. Blow the horn. Because I believe that... Egypt is all wiped out right now. Now I wonder. Okay. You are going for the red flag. They'll run out and take yours. Point wise, blue is in the lead right now. But I'm planning on making sure to go wherever he's not. And whenever he's he attacks one of my forts. Then I'll just make sure to run there. And uh, attack him in the back, and he will be wiped out by defenders. And I'll just get more experience for my standard, and it's gonna be so so great. Now, more upgrades. Maybe javelins? Be a good idea. And now I'll have you stand at this flag while I run over and take the flag. Looks like they don't have that many bases they want to go for. I might even be able to, uh, to kill my defenders at the B. Right, at the A. A fort. 
When D turns red, come over here. And we are making money and looks like we are getting our points quite a lot faster than blue, which is great. Now we just need to take a confrontation against them, maybe kill their uh, flag, kill their standard so we can get some more experience for our own. We're not even halfway through, uh, through the fight yet. I don't know, however, if it's a part of the objectives that I actually need to kill the generals. Let's run back. I will kill a couple of my defenders here and also at my own fort, just so that I can get a bigger army of my own. And you, of course, do that by holding control and then pressing the uh, recruitment key of whatever unit you want to kill. There we go. Now, if we get this upgrade, get a defense boost, when we are fighting close to our standard, might have a better chance at this. Oh, damn. There we go. Oh, we could see how many we hit. That's awesome. Unfortunately, they will be getting the uh, bonuses. There we go. Uh, from the flag right now. But it looks like we were actually able to uh, to kill them. But they are getting coming with even more units right now. So, I don't think they will go for the fort, though. They will rather just go for this flag. So when my units have captured that flag, which they've had, they have, I will come back here, recruit more units, and then run over and fight them again. And I would actually like a longer horn duration. We can just go ape shit with all of our upgrades right now. I will also be going to kill some of my defenders at the other fort. Actually, ooh, we have one of the movement speed bonuses right now. So you take that um, flag. I run back to the B site. And uh, point-wise, we are in the lead right now. Looking, looking really good. And remember, you can see kind of grayed out right next to the points that both of the AI has a fi pretty uh, significant financial advantage compared to me. They have times two in uh, economy. Uh, so they have twice the amount of money that yours true yet. So we can't get any more of those upgrades. We can get these though. So now we are maxed out on team upgrades. And you can, I don't know if you can see this on the recording. The uh, Steam accomplishments. The Steam achievements. But it's looking pretty good point wise. Although since... They are always at times two income. I won't be able to starve them out that easily, unfortunately. Because no matter how much uh, money... I mean, they get twice the amount of income for each of the bases that they hold. So 240 instead of 120 for the main site. And that's basically these two combined just for one. So now... They have... We have similar income. 190, I have two. 120, I have two. So now it all just comes down to standard upgrades, I think. Stay and take that flag. I will run over here, and I think we will be taking one of the confrontations against uh, their army over here at E. Because now we just need to level up our standard. Of course, that means that we'll need to focus our fire on their standard so they don't get any experience. That's really important. And also remember that they had javelins. When they load, shields up. There we go. Didn't hit that many, unfortunately. We can blow the horn. Get some damage bonuses. Oh, sorry. Just hit one of my own guys in the head. Great. We actually won that one pretty easily. So... Run back and take that flag. I will run down and make sure that we replenish the five legionnaires that we lost. It's actually looking quite good. Would be nice to get a domination. 
But for that to happen, I need to take their fort. And it looks like they have at least three, four, five, six. Do they have seven defenders? Did they just morph into a wall keeper? Because that is not something... I mean, we can throw 50 guys at that and we're not going to win. Oops. Bring it on. Drop the shields, you coward. There we go. I actually did manage to get a hit there. And just keep throwing the javelins on the backs. Now we have one of these. I think I'm gonna go just full on damage right now because that will make it so much easier to break down the walls. Gates. Looks like they might be coming up again. So now I guess I will just run back, recruit more units. Then might as well just go for it. Just try to get to wipe their, uh, take their gate down. Point wise, I'm doing all right, but I do like the uh, poetry or whatever you want to call it of getting a domination win. They still have three defenders there, two defenders there, two defenders up there. So yeah, I just don't, I just don't see us having the um, the manpower to win. Takes two javelins, kill one unit. So basically, two hits of all of those would mean uh, seven units killed. And that's like a third of my entire army. But still, let's go for it. We do have the money to recuperate our losses. Uh. Run! Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Can I get any hits? Doesn't look like it. Oh, damn. Okay. Actually, might be easier if I just uh, kill myself, replenish my army, and then just go for it again. My standard is dead right now, though. He's back in another 25 seconds or so. But I would like to see their army running out before their gate is repaired. Because now we can just go at it again and just throw bodies at the problem. Hopefully that will solve everything. The studio missiles follow me charge. There's no new commands with the uh, new patch. Up. Uh Guards the gate. Might actually be able to break it down this time. There we go. Follow me. The gate is down. Ah! We don't have a standard to blow the horn with. Looks like they're just going after us, aren't they? No, nope, they're not. Let's run down, take this flag, and then we'll run over and take the other one, and hopefully we'll be able to just lure them out into attacking one of these flags and while their gate is down we can just shimmy in and win standard is back nice to see you buddy now since the gate is down we'll just have to okay they have three six they have eight nine defenders what the damn hell Ah. Oh, damn. I wonder if we'll be able to take this flag so that we can start recruiting here. That would be absolutely crucial. So just keep running around the flag and hopefully we'll capture it. Come on. And then just 
recruit our absolute asses off. There we go. Just keep recruiting, keep recruiting. And they are going back for my main, uh, for my starting base right now. But that's okay. There we go. Uh, we've killed everyone, we've taken the base. Now we just need to run back and make sure that our own is somewhat safe. It looks like they will have no problem breaking down the gate, unfortunately. Just keep running back. Hopefully we can at least start recruiting here. They're running in. Blow the horn. Then send everyone in to fight and um, defend. And just run around, keep recruiting, keep replenishing everything. Because uh, we have the money to outproduce them here, no, no question about it. Now, another point into the standard. There we go. There we have blue now. We can just kill the army. Kill the army, uh, capture their sea flag. Oh, damn. Did a double volley. Okay, we didn't hit anyone with that. Did hit 12 with that, though. Okay. Spawn. Hope they didn't stop fighting just because I got back. Most likely they did, though. Kill them all. Oh, we actually did. Nice. Now we need to make sure that we capture their flag and run back to the base before they've broken down the gates. Come on, if taken. Come on, turn around. There we go. We got all of them to turn around. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. There we go. This is what it's all about. Another point. Even more damage. And this is going to be... The final battle that decides everything, really. Yeah. There we go. Really? How freaking resilient are these guys? I can... I can recruit until the end of time. I didn't have to, though. 26 minutes, 36 seconds victory. That's a pure joy. Man, I'm so happy about this patch and new maps. Really, really happy about that. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let's just break down the points. Um, Of course, I won pretty comfortably fortunately but look at the gold jesus i mean orange was wiped out at like minute 12 or something like that but still they only had like 4000 gold less than i did which is insane uh 93 hires 26 kills if you look at mine first okay 9000 gold 134 hires i hired more units than anyone else did i killed more double the amount of anyone else and I just a couple more less, a couple of less units uh, died than the Metello Scipio. Killed a lot though. I think that was really good. Must have been. And I got a standard level seven, but both me and Blue maxed out our team upgrades. Look at the graphs. Like I said, Orange got wiped out at uh, minute twelve, and Blue was in the lead just, just a smidge here for a couple of minutes, but then. Everything went really good. Look at the net worth. Blue really held the lead from a very early start, like minute. Two. Then I never managed to surpass them in net worth because, of course, they had just more money. More money. And just right here in the end, they started to dip down when I took their last fort, I suppose. But it was a lot of fun. This map, Tapsus, was uh, really fun to play. I love it when we have forts to defend. I love it that we didn't have any catapults. And also some running around. And um, 
yeah, great map. Had a lot of fun playing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.